Thank you for tuning in to this semifinal match that took place in October of 2023 in Owen Sound, the Scenic City Tournament. As you'll probably notice, we are joining this match in action as the team of Ron Langle and Josh Carfello is, uh, has a lead of 6-4 to four against the team of Connor Ryman and Ray Beerling. See, Ron started out with an open 20. Ray Beerling goes just a little bit long. See if Josh is able to make him pay. He did not, but he left it in a pretty decent position. Let's see if Ryman goes for a follow-through. Almost looks like he's indicating he wants to stay nestled up to a peg there. Pushes in a little deep. We'll see if Ron is able to make him pay for that slight. Unable to make him pay for that. Leaving an opening for Ray Beerling to go for an off 20 or maybe a touch 20. We'll see what he goes for. Touch 20 it is. Great touch. Here's Josh going in from the roll in from the five. Oh, perfect line. Just a tiny bit off on the weight. Ryman visibly disappointed with himself as he opens the door for Ron to drain yet another open 20. That Ron has ice in his veins sometimes in these matches where he just seems immune to the pressure and drains open 20 after open 20. Let's see what Josh decides to do with this one. They are against the hammer, but they're up at 20. Looks like he's determining whether he wants to try to squeeze in or he may look to hide on the far side, although hiding from Connor Ryman is no easy task. Ron and Josh give a good chat, make sure they're on the same page. Looks like he's lining up to come in off of that. Oh, just missing on the 20. Back in the house, which is good for Beerling and Ryman. Ryman pushed well for that follow through, but not quite enough on it. Ron likely looking to get away. Door open for Ray Beerling to roll in for a 20. Let's see what he's able to do. Money shot. Beautiful. Josh, unfazed, steps right up, drains that open 20. Ryman, the tiniest bit off in his open 20. Beautiful roll away by Ron Langell. I always say that shot is so underrated. Being up at 20, if they can control play, get it away from the center, and just not leave any sort of opening for the opponent, they'll be in great shape to take another round. Ray and Connor discussing the options. Looks like he's absolutely going for it here now. They're getting low on bullets, so to wait for a better opportunity, uh, obviously don't, they don't feel like that is wise. Rolled away. Did not catch the peg he was looking for. Looks like Josh wants to get the off and leave himself nestled between the pegs. Probably doesn't leave Ryman a line to get the 20, but it does leave him an option to hide. Won't be easy to do. He'll need to push through that opponent's button a little bit to get himself directly behind that peg. Looks like he wants to come in and get himself posted. Like any good Crokinole opponent, his objective right now is to make the life of the person to his left miserable. He was a little off on that one. Now Ron with an opportunity to hide from Ray. That pushed a little further through, although Ryman and Beerling running out of options here. He's going to need to make something happen. Oh, wow. What a bounce back. Two amazing shots from Ray Beerling in this round. Josh comes up a little bit short. Here's Ryman taking an extra second. I believe they're tied up. All he needs is the off. He gets the off and the 20. This match tied up 6-6. Six to six. Watch some money replay shots out of Ray Beerling right here. Look at that bounce back. Here comes the angle in. Beautiful. Ray starts out with an open 20. Puts the pressure on Josh. Unfazed. We have four very strong 20 shooters around this table. 
all four of these players are fantastically skilled at draining the open 20s, as well as many other aspects of the game. Oh, a super Steve out of Ray Beerling. Not what he needed. Josh right back to work, going up 3-1. to one. A rare leaner. 4-1 to one in the 20 cup for Ron and Josh. There, Ray's found his range back. If you're a fan of this amazing sport, like I know you are, you probably know that Ray Beerling usually partners with his brother Jason Beerling. Jason had his priorities a little bit messed up today, and he is off playing uh, ice crokinole, also known as curling. Don't worry, we've called an intervention. We've uh, sat down and give him a little heart to heart, let him know how we feel about his priorities being messed up, and hopefully we get through to him. Time will tell. Back to the action here as we got lots more open 20s happening. The cup runneth over for Ron and Josh. Oh, a little long, leaving an opening here. He needs the off and the 20 to make his opponent shoot. They've already won this round. He can trough his disc if he'd like, and that's what he's going to do, I believe. Like a wise competitor, he is taking an extra second to make sure that that is accurate. He didn't trough, but he did take a, a fairly safe shot there. His only risk would have been if he had lost his shooter and given the opponents a 20, then uh, he may have regretted taking that final shot. 8-6 in favor of Ron and Josh. Somebody oblivious to the camera behind them, but that's okay. I often get excited when I'm watching Crokinole too. See if Ray is able to drop back off of this. Yeah, that was a that was a fair distance away. It looked like he hit that with enough power. It looked like he wasn't trying to drop back. He was likely uh, going for a peg. Or even just a roll away because the team of Ryman and Beerling do have hammer. So they are they have a slight edge in this round. Josh and Ron need to create oh, there is a little bit of an error. Josh popping up for the bird's eye view to see if he's able to pull a drop back twenty off of that disc, off of Ray's offering there. Wow, they really do want to have a look at that. After much deliberation, here we go. Yes, easily secures the off in the 20. The other thing you're likely to notice is that uh, this commentary is coming at you, uh, I'll call this acapello. I don't know if I'm using the term right or not, but we do have no audio from the match. There was music playing in the background, and YouTube gets a little cranky when there's copyrighted music. So, uh, yeah, that has been muted. So hopefully this is still, still enjoyable for you. Ron and Josh very much in control of this match right now. I, actually, sorry, I take that back. Not very much in control. They're up at 20, and the pressure is on the team of Beerling and Ryman to get things back inside, which he does. See what Josh does with this. He'll likely look to get the off and get away. He did get away, but that peg brought him right back. Those pegs are either your best friend or your worst enemy, depending on how the puck bounces. Nice off and drop back 20 by Ryman. Beautiful, putting the pressure right back on Ron and Josh. An unusual miss from Ron on that open 20. Great position from Beerling, leaving Josh Carfello with no option other than to go for the follow through, which he is quite skilled at, but this is a, this is a tough shot. Great push, just a tiny bit off on that angle. Ryman likely just looking for the off, Ooh, didn't get the off, but he did not give Ron much to work with here. It's going to put the pressure on Ray with his last shot. Let's see what Ron's able to do here. Oh, Ron didn't secure the off. 
believe Beerling definitely needs an off with this one, and he's probably looking at the risk of losing his red disc in the five. Not an easy shot, that is for sure. Looks like he's going to try to catch the peg with that black disc and hope they're exactly like that. Money. It's almost like this guy's a pro. Eight, eight tie in this race to nine. More highlights. Oh, Ryman just lips out a little bit on that opening open 20. Langel, beautiful shot. Hits and rolls all the way outside of the house. Leaving Beerling no choice but to go up Hogan's Alley, which he does and manages to leave it in the house. What a great shot. Nice leave from Josh. This point is the old chess match. Ron and Josh want to keep play on the outside as they have Hammer. And Ray and Connor want to bring things back inside to create some sort of a 20. If play stays outside, it is definitely uh, to the advantage of Langel and Carafello. Oh, great roll in. Just a little off. I didn't even see that angle. What a great shot. Oh, mistake from Ron. Beerling being the wise veteran, taking his time, looking at all the options. I think he's wondering if he needs to move that red back to not leave it for Josh, but I don't know if he needs to. It's not a great position for him. Oh, lips out on that open 20. Nice takeout 20 by Josh. Players have a chuckle as he knocks his 20 holder off the rail. Back to Ron here. Let's see if he just goes for the off. I expect he, oh, lost his shooter. That was tough. He was trying to roll away, and he rolled away just a little too far. Beerling makes him pay by draining that open 20. Pressure on Josh, who misses just barely. There have been some great shots, and the shots that have been misses have been barely misses. They're just barely lipping out. Oh, that was a tough one by Ryman, losing his shooter. Let's see if they're able to bounce back from that. Pressure on Beerling now to get this back in the house. Wow, what a great roll in. Two two in the twenty cup. Josh and Ron discussing the options. Does he go for that dagger shot of draining another twenty? Does he just get the takeout and try to stay away? Some people will ask, what is the right play on this? And sometimes it is just how you're feeling in the moment. Looks like he's feeling that 20 and drains it. What a money shot. Pressure squarely on Ryman and Beerling at this point. Final shot to Josh. All he needs is a valid shot. They are tied up in the 20 cup. Oh, Oh, wow. <laughs> that must have been touching the line as Ryman jumps up and uh, gives that a little huff and a puff to blow it outside of the house. Obviously, in joking, it's one of the great things when you see four friends sit down around the table. Watch some more highlights here. That was a dagger shot right there that puts so much pressure on. Fantastic semifinal action. Come back and watch the finals as, Ron, as Ray Beerling and uh, Connor Ryman move on to face the team of Philip and Oliver Ware. Thanks for tuning in. Make it a great day.